Hey guys, here's an impromptu video. Uh, real quick, um, if you know, I think I did a video. I don't know. I might have done the video, may not have done the video. Where I got this, uh, uh, the spider coat. Yes, I did the intro video. Anyway, it's the spider coat, right? Correct. Yes, correct me if I'm wrong. Spider concealment. Sorry, spider concealment. Very good holster for the Glock 43X, which uh, is being worked on right now. And the only problem I have with this holster, right, is that right now I've already started working on it, but it has no bend to it. Like if you know, I have this holster that I really like, right, this tier one concealment, and it is very similar, but it has this bend to it, right? Well, this guy does not have a bend to it. Um, and it has a claw, which a claw won't do a whole lot if there's nothing to pivot. You know, if you can't pivot, then it's not gonna do anything. Um, so, I've voided all my warranties, I'm positive, and I've already flattened this out a little bit. It's, I didn't do perfection work, so it's still got a little bit of a bend to it, but that's okay. Um, because it was bent down. I have some pictures before. It was bent pretty good. And so it did fit my, my belt and everything. If it, it felt fine, but it did not have that, that give that I want it to have. I think if this has that little springiness to it, right? Two pieces attached with the uh, bungee cord, whatever. I think it's going to be a lot better. So, like I said, I've already voided the warranties, I'm sure, by heating it up and bending it a little bit. But we've got some uh, uh, these thingies, whatever, these little eyelet guys, and you smash them down, little rivets, right? We're going to rivet this ourselves. We're going to rivet both sides. We're going to put four on each side, which probably should do six or five or something. I don't know, but it, it, I think I think this will work. I think it'll work. And then we'll do one side. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do one side, cut it down this line right here, middle line, and then put them on the other side. And hopefully it will retain its uh, integrity as far as the gun being able to come in and out and secure magazine, not having any issues. Hopefully everything works and then we get a really good holster, right? Because then we'll get the bungee cord and see, well, I don't know where I'm gonna get one, but I'm gonna get one somewhere and, uh, and see if it works anyway. That was way too complicated. We're gonna do this, just a quick little thing. If it works, then look for a real video on it. Um, this is the real video. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get to it. There's one of them. That one. Can you tell which one? That actually turned out really good. Can you still tell? No, that guy right there, the top one. The one I just put in. That's factory. That one huh.
Okay, guys, there you go. Um, I think we kind of did it. I think. Um, I can't really put my pistol in here. I just have the, the lower part. That clicks in there just fine. Um, so that didn't get messed up. And then we just need to put this guy on here like that. And basically, we should be good to go. We should line up. Keyhole. There you go. Um, I think it worked. I think. So time will tell if I can actually get this thing on here. Uh, we'll take this guy off actually real quick and see if everything plugs in like it's supposed to. Yeah. Just in one sec. Okay. I think that's it. I think it worked. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to get another one of these little thingy majiggers to go back on my regular tier one holster, but this is just a placeholder. But it did work. I had one rivet. Excuse me. Wow. I had one rivet bust. Um, but I think it'll be okay. I don't know exactly how to get it out without possibly destroying this. I'm not going to go that far. Um, uh, one thing I might be able to say is, see how this is angled up? This piece right here, these two pieces. If I was to heat this back up again and bend them down, all right, um, to more of a natural bend like this, that might be a better deal. But those are fine tuning things I'll have to do later when I get the slide back. And, uh. I can make sure everything fits how it's supposed to fit because as far as I can tell this is fitting just fine. I moved the clip, it was over here, I moved it over, I think that gives it a better leverage point for back here on the claw. Um, so yeah, I think it worked. We're just gonna have to uh, wait and see and then when the slide comes back, um, you know, we'll just have to wait and see and see how it goes. I tried it on a little bit. Um, and it's, it's not worth putting it on right now to show y'all, um, cause it's not even complete. The gun's not even all there, so it doesn't really make much sense. Um, but it does, it feels at least the same as it did before. Um, concealability wise, I, again, that's, that's a hard thing to actually say because this thing moves around a little bit because it's not in there, the slide, whatever. So look for this later on, uh, when I get that slide back and we will run this, but I think we have a winner. I think we really do. I can't imagine. The only thing I could possibly think of that would be a major detractor from all this would be if I started getting splits in the uh, in the Kydex, at which point I would just have to trash the whole thing and call Spyderco and say, hey, I broke my holster. I need to buy another one because I'm sure they're not warranting this. Uh, this isn't their work anymore. All right, it's half their work and half uh, garage gunsmithing stuff. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, Spyderco, I just keep saying Spyderco, that's a knife brand. Wow, spider concealment. If y'all see this, which I highly doubt you ever will, um, unless somebody else has got a patent on this system here, y'all need to do that. It's not that hard. You're already putting rivets and stuff. Just finish the rivets, cut the kydex, and put in a piece of bungee. Anyway, y'all be good to be safe. Take care, and we'll catch y'all.